Five warning signs that your Mercedes timing chain might be ready to fail. So, because so many people don't do a great job of checking their timing chains, I decided to do a video about this topic. And the scope of application for this video is mostly on M116 and M117 engines, as well as the engine in the 190E16 valve, and um, uh, finally, um, I think to an extent, the M119 engine as well. So, here we go. The uh, Mercedes V8 timing chain especially is a very long chain, and it has an extremely long chain path. And so this chain path means that the chain is always under maximum levels of stress. Now, oddly enough, the M100 engine, which also has a fairly long chain path, does not seem to suffer from the same tendency to wear out. But I think that is because that engine uh, was designed to a, a more careful specification. In other words, Mercedes did a lot more to minimize the impact on the chain, even though it was a long chain. Whereas with the M116 and M117 engine, they were more worried about dri designing an, an efficient chain drive, but also a chain drive that ended up stressing the chain more but the but items like the camshaft less so not that M100 engines don't get chain stretched but this is mostly about 116 and 117 engines and if you want a 190E16 valve you might want to pay attention to this as well so the number one warning sign is when you start the car you hear a rattle that lasts for between half a second and three seconds so it'll manifest as a rrr, 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 boom, and right when the engine starts you'll hear clatter 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 you'll hear rrr, or you'll hear some kind of disturbing mechanical sound probably not that loud actually it'll be something like a one or a two out of ten so you have to listen carefully for it but you should not hear the sound that I'm referring to it's not right okay now Another car and another warning sign about these timing chains is whether or not they were actually replaced in the first place. I say if you have a Mercedes with a gas engine, a gas V8 engine that has over 50,000 miles on it, start checking your chain. You might be surprised at what you find. We've seen low mileage 380 SLs with factory double row chains that needed chains at 40,000 miles. We've seen High mileage cars like 450 and 560 SLs that have been totally fine at 120,000 miles with their original chains. We've seen um, we've seen cars that have 100,000 miles on them and the chain is worn consistently to the seven or eight degree mark, which is about when you should start considering replacement. If you see nine degrees, ten degrees, you should replace it. But there's more to the story. So. Uh, another warning sign is when you have your valve covers off, if you can reach in between the cam sprocket and the middle of the cylinder head, like where the intake is, and grab the chain and pull on it, and after you give the chain a couple hard tugs, it becomes loose to the touch, almost watery, I would say, like there's no tensioner in it. That means that the chain has, uh, the chain and the tensioner have, have really worn to about their useful limit. Now, it doesn't mean that the chain is going to jump, but it does mean that you should start looking at chain replacement in the near future. And if you have free play without tugging on it, yeah, you need a chain ASAP. So we saw this recently on uh, an M117.980 engine where the chain was so loose that we didn't have to do any tugging. It just sort of was there. Now, early engines had less tensioner movement, so of course this is more common. So if you're working on a up to 1980 model 3.5 or 4.5 liter engine, then this is going to be more of an issue. The fourth symptom of chain stretch has to do with the parts quality used if the chain was replaced. I remember we had a 280SE 3.5 in here that had a US chain in it that had 30 or 40,000 miles, but the chain was already stretched to the uh, 
11 or 12 degree mark and was already loose. So U.S., although they make the chains from Mercedes, it's become pretty evident to me now that they're putting different qualities of chains in different boxes. Fat OEM branded Mercedes chains seem to be manufactured to a higher standard and more precisely than the U.S. chains. And a lot of people don't believe me when I say this, but one of my subscribers, Amit, explained this to me very well because he was an industrial processes engineer and a quality control engineer. And he said that depending on the specifications of the manufacturer and the demands of the manufacturer, quality will vary. So uh, Mercedes does demand very high production quality with their parts. And so that's why Mercedes chains are consistently better. So if you see a Phoebe tensioner in a U.S. chain, you might want to check it, even if it only has 20 or 30,000 miles on it. Mileage may not be a great indication. Number five, bad idle or poorly running engine. Now, I've seen this before. We had a 560 SL recently that had 11 degrees of chain stretch, and it just did not run consistently. It didn't idle smoothly. It started well, but it just seemed very unhappy at idle. It was not very smooth. We also had this on a very low mileage, well, 89,000 mile 560 SEL at one point in time. And this car was so consistently bad at you know, when it when it idled, it was just so consistently bad, it would hiccup and it would stumble that I started to wonder what the deal was. And so then we checked cam timing, and of course it was way off. Now, uh, the end result of all this was that the engine ran like glass when we were done. It was just super smooth. Now, why is that? Well, it has to do with the regulation of when the intake valve opens and closes, because in CIS, the intake valve is basically also the injection valve. The injector's job is just to dump fuel in. The intake valve decides when it comes into the engine. And if the fuel is showing up into the motor too late, then you have a real problem and you're going to get poor manifold vacuum, poor running, less power, and weak fuel economy. Now, these, uh, these five points are intended as a guide. I mean, if you have a higher mileage Mercedes V8 with 100,000 miles or more, even if you don't sense a problem with the chain, check it anyway. I'm sure you heard me. If you don't sense a problem with the chain, check it anyway. Don't let it go unchecked because it will ruin your engine and it will ruin all the fun. You know, some people are afraid of what they might find, but replacing a timing chain is not necessarily tedious. It's not necessarily difficult. It's just extremely tedious. And yes, there are some tools you need to do it. And yes, you do have to undertake some learning, but it's much easier to change a chain than to change a cylinder head. I remember early on with my first 380 SL, I replaced all the valves in the left-hand cylinder head, but I didn't change the chain that had jumped in the first place. And this brings me to my last point about timing chains. They don't break on these cars. They jump. Now, on the 16 valve, sure, they can break. But on the V8 cars with double row chains, they do not break. They jump. 615, 616, 617 diesels. Factory chains do not break. Okay? They just don't. Uh, replacement chains with pressed links, yes, they break, especially if the factory tool is not used. So, something to watch out for there. And I've seen it almost happen. One time I changed a steering lock on an 84 300D, and the owner asked me to adjust the valves, and I was done. When I pulled the valve cover, I was rotating the engine through, and lo and behold, one of the, the keeper links had come off of the timing chain. So, changing your chain at 100,000 miles is really not advised, but we'll do this in another video. If you have a diesel, if you have a V8 gas car, it's a different story. Sure, if you want to change it, change it, but do it because it needs to be changed, not because the timing chain looks like it needs to be changed. Okay, so if you like this video, please tap the bell for notifications. Like, share, and subscribe. We're almost at 21,000 subscribers. So to all of you who thought that uh, we wouldn't make it or we'd lose subscribers for various given reasons, you're wrong. Thanks. Um, and uh, leave us an applause and a comment if you like this video or found it helpful. And the most important thing is if you own a V8 gas Mercedes, check your timing chain stretch. Please do it so that we don't have to deal with bigger problems and you can continue to enjoy your car going down the road. Thanks.